Hi everyone, this is Dan with ThoroughCare. As you know, CMS released the 2023 Physician Fee Schedule. We consulted with an expert who we know and trust, Carrie Nixon of Nixon Guilt Law. We did an informative webinar where we talked about all the changes and what to expect as the new rules are released for the coming year. If you were wondering how the 2023 final rule affects some of the programs like chronic care management, PCM, RPM, and others, this video will cover those answers. Now the big stuff, Carrie, the program changes. Um, how will this affect our workflows? How do practices prepare? Um, let's start by talking about what didn't change. And so programs that stayed the same, chronic care management, and that's a big one. In previous years, we've seen all kinds of craziness, extra minute codes, extra rules. Um, and you know, I don't want to say that it's a relief sometimes to see nothing's changing, but if you're running a business and you know that you can keep running it the same way without having to change anything um, for those practices that are depending on this, you can plan on business as normal for chronic care, principal care, which is the one condition version of CCM, remote patient monitoring, almost unchanged from last year, transitional care, annual wellness visits, almost all the same for 2023. So, and I think the the one thing that everyone asks is, are, are the payment rates the same? So I used to make this much when I did this service. Can I expect that in 2023? And for the most part, you can. So let's show everyone, Carrie, what the rates look like. We said there's going to be a slight drop. Um, and let's start with chronic care management. Uh, and that's probably one of the most widely known ones. In 2022, it was about $62. So we're saying in 2023, it's going to be about $61. So you can see we, we put in red on the right side what the change is. And I, I think there's some good news and bad news. Um, the good news is there's no major drops. And for those of you who followed this last year, you know, about this time last year, we were telling you how RPM is $20 less. There's nothing like that this year in 2023. So you're looking at a dollar. A lot of these are less than a dollar. Um, let me go to the next slide here. Here's RPM, remote patient monitoring, um, you know, codes like 99457, down 45 cents, 99458, down 29 cents. So, you know, it's there's some good and bad. Yes, we always hate to see red on the screen here, but but Carrie, I think people can say the changes are probably small enough that this isn't going to impact our business or our practice. Um as much as it could have. Would you agree with that, Carrie? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like you said, you never want to see red on the board, but unfortunately it's what we usually see, right? We've we've gotten used to seeing that over the years. It is the case that overall reimbursement rates tend to have us have tended to trend toward a slight drop, right? So these these um changes that you have highlighted here on the screen are not um anything special related to the care management programs. They are reflective of across the board cuts and reinducements for reimbursements in the Medicare system as a whole. And there is one on here at the bottom. You can see chronic pain management. Um, that's brand new for 2023. But you know, overall, I, I think if you're looking at the rates, you know, like we said, it, it could have been worse. But you know, the, a dollar is is definitely uh, much more easier to deal with than the alternative. Yeah, and I'll just note as well, Dan, we did see an in, a significant increase in reimbursement to chronic care management this past year. Um, and my hope, frankly, is that is a trend that will that that might carry over into some of the additional um, care management services going forward. That's a good point. It was so nice to tell people last year, Carrie, that it was what twenty dollars more. We were so popular on the webinar. <laughs> um, I know, but. but um, also, I, I want to stress too that for those of you who were looking at the, the last sheet here and saying, hey, those aren't even my 2022 numbers. You guys are way off. Um, just to explain how it works in the Medicare side, all these programs are geographically based. And so the way to find out exactly what your rate is going to be is the physician fee schedule. And you'll see the year, and then you can put in your MAC or your local zip code and see what your rates are going to be. Um, so if anyone hasn't used the physician um, fee schedule search, 
is very helpful. You can use it for anything that your practice does and you will get the exact rate. If you'd like to learn more about what to expect in 23 or other changes to these programs, check out our Learning Center. There's links in the description below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it below or subscribe. Thanks for watching.